Hello and welcome back to this Smart Trade Basics course. I hope you enjoyed the first module of this basics course. In this module, we will be covering some more basics material that will help you when you start getting into the more advanced Smart Trade courses, where you will get more hands on education and options. The first thing we are going to do is a little review of some of the material from the first module. We are going to start with reviewing the whole concept of being long and short so that you can get a better grasp on the next concept I will be teaching. To better understand open interest, I want you to have a firm grasp on being long and short and options. Remember, if you are in a long position, you are the buyer or the owner of the option contract and you have the rights to buy or sell the underlying instrument. If you're in a short position, you are the seller or writer, and you are potentially obligated to have to sell or buy an underlying instrument. Just simply refer back to this chart you were given in the first module anytime you need help remembering what these terms mean. In this slide, I want to introduce you to what an option chain would look like. I copied this chain for the Dow Jones Index from the CBOE website, which is the Chicago Board Options Exchange. I want to go over these numbers in this chain. This is the type of chain you will see when you pull up a chain in your broker's platform. It won't be exactly the same, but it will be very similar and all the numbers will mean the same thing. The arrows you see here are pointing to the underlying security. Remember this one is the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Okay, the current price the Dow Jones Industrial Index is selling for is $92.18. Okay, and then we have the date and time for this quote. Now each platform you will use will let you know how often they update this information. Obviously the more often the information is updated, the more accurate their quotes will be. In the next slide, I will begin showing you what the numbers in the graph represent. As you can see here, the expiration month are August and September of 2009. It is the same for both the calls and the puts. The strike price for the calls is $91 to $94 for these two months. The ask price is what the seller has as the listed price for the option. The bid is the highest listed offer for the option. Think of it in terms of a house. The seller might have it listed for $100,000, but you as the buyer might put in a bid for say $90,000. When putting in orders, and you will see this late in later videos, you have a better chance of getting your orders placed if your quote if you quote a price that is in between the bid and ask price. And remember, when you are purchasing a call option, you are buying the right to sell at the strike price. In the next video, we will cover what open interest means. I just wanted to point out to you here that the numbers are basically the same thing on the put side of the chart. Except remember, if you purchase a put, you are buying a right to sell the underlying security. In this case, that is the Dow Jones Industrial Index. at the particular strike price.